Hey everybody, this is Pun, and I have a quick tutorial for you. This is for voice meter, all versions of voice meter, and how to set up surround sound. So 5.1, 7.1 surround for your speakers, whatever you have set up. A lot of people have asked for this tutorial. I really don't know why I haven't covered it up until now, but that's what I'm gonna do. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring up your voice meter. And what you're gonna to wanna to do here is if you have other versions of voice meter, banana or potato, you're gonna to want to change and configure your default playback device. In the event here, I'm just using this, the voice meter VAIO. Uh, for potato users, you have the option of using the AUX VAIO or the VAIO3. All right, so here I will go to my sound settings. A couple of ways you can get to this in Windows. Uh, mainly, I'm gonna, just gonna do a search for control panel and then go to sound. And that will bring up the sound control panel, if that's what you want to call it. And under playback devices, I'm gonna scroll down to my default playback right here. And then first of all, what we'll do is we'll do a quick test and you can just see that I'm only processing two channels, stereo left and right. But if you wanna change that to 7.1, you need to right click and then go to configure speakers. Okay, and then you'll get the option of choosing uh, some different speaker options, including 5.1 and 7.1 surround. So I will choose that and then I'll run a test. And it is simple as that. The great thing about voice meter is it's really dependent on the Windows audio setup. So when you configure Windows for 7.1 surround, voice meter is already set up for it. Uh, that's a great thing about the VAIO is that it will accept up to 7.1, which is really great. A couple other options you could do just to verify that it is being shown is you can go down to VB Audio's folder where you've downloaded the files and you can go to the VAIO controller here uh, you've got a couple different ones depending on which version you want to use but i will use this is the virtual io control panel is the one for the uh first vaio channel that i'm using and then you can look and make sure you have ch eight channel inputs here and that will tell you that you have 7.1 or it'll be six if you have 5.1 okay so lastly what you will need to do is you will need to go to anything that you're going to actually output to so if you have seven points one surround sound speakers plugged in and you just threw your sound card, for instance, like Realtek, then you would need to go to the speakers slash Realtek, whatever that is outputting to those speakers and then right click configure speakers and set those up for 5.1 or 7.1 surround. For headphones like, you know, my Corsairs here, they don't really need uh, configuration. They're automatically, you know, set up for that way. And you don't have the option to do it inside of the sound control panel anyway. That is it for the video. A uh, really simple tutorial. Uh, it's really easy. Uh, a lot of people do have difficulty trying to figure it out though. And it's not readily clear inside of Windows how to do that, but that is definitely how you do it. And it does work well. So if you have, you know, surround sound speakers, the only thing you really need to ensure is that they're hooked up properly. If you're using an analog outputs from your sound card, if you're using a USB virtual 7.1 device like this, you know, gaming headset right here, then, you know, it's really easy to do. You just do basically what I just showed you and then you'll get all the channels inside of your headphones. Now, whether or not they're imaged properly, well, that's up to the headphone, but regardless, they do work and that's really it. So if you enjoyed this video, listen, make sure you subscribe. Right now, 75% of you do not subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to come back if you enjoy these tutorials like this. So make sure you hit the subscribe button but other than that, hit that like, hit the bell for notification, feed that algorithm, help me out by, uh, you know, promoting this video by hitting the like and hitting that bell for notifications. Comment below, let me know if it worked for you. All those things help promote the video. And lastly, I have now enabled membership on the channel. If you really want to support me beyond the normal way, the membership is now available for as little as $1.99. You can become a frugal member and I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, but I just appreciate you guys coming and you know supporting 
any way you can. So, but that is available. I know a few people have asked for that. So other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Be safe out there, guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.